Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. <clears throat> so this is the yearly or the year ahead spread for Queen Concert Camilla. Now I know that many uh, said that Camilla should drop the concert from her uh, title, but she is still called Queen Concert. So this is how I'm calling her for this spread and this is a little bit different from the spread that i did for king charles i'm using a bigger uh, deck of cards as you can see this is uh this is a fun deck it's called winter magic uh, it's a kind of a cartoony deck but it's very wintry and uh, i thought it was fitting for a uh, christmas and for winter and as I said, as uh, the holiday comes in, I will be using a little bit more of wintry decks and uh, uh, winter-inspired decks, or decks that inspire winter or feel like winter not only only winter decks so anyway so this is the winter magic uh, deck and i'm going to uh, do a year ahead spread for camilla so this is a different spread than the one i did for king charles but it is still a very uh, nice and beautiful spread and uh, so let's start with my disclaimer this is a tarot reading it is vibrational it is open to interpretation it exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So let's start with clearing the deck. And let's start asking. So what is the year ahead forecast for a Queen Consort Camilla? What can, uh, is the prediction for the year 2023 for Queen Consort Camilla? What are the lessons that she can learn from the previous year? What is coming for Queen Camilla? for the year 2023. What are the predictions for Queen Camilla for the next year, 2023? So let's split the deck. And the first card is the card of the uh, sunset or the lessons from the previous year. And the card that I'm getting is Oh, I'm sorry, this is a, the Thanks card, and this is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is actually a great card because the Nine of Pentacles is a card that speaks about getting profit after working hard. So as a lesson for Queen Camilla, this is something that is telling her, as long as you work hard, you get what you deserve. This is working hard with getting what you deserve. If you work hard, you deserve the crown, you deserve the richness, you deserve the title, you deserve the, uh, the mansion or the, uh, everything that you want. This is, what, this is Queen Camilla coming into what she really worked for for so many years. And this is exactly what happened for, to her in the past year. Uh, in the past year, the Queen actually said uh, that she wants Queen Camilla to, uh, to become a Queen Consort after she dies, and she, the Queen herself died, and Queen Camilla become, became the Queen Consort. So this is after getting what you deserved after working hard, and this is the perfect... Uh, perfect uh, uh, card to uh, describe Camilla's previous year. 
So the next card is the horizon or what is coming into what in for the next year. What can she expect for in the next year? And what I'm getting here is the lover's card. So first of all, the lover's card is a card of good and love and good, good feelings. But it is also a card of looking at your life's pathway and getting everything that is redundant out of your life's pathway. So it looks like next year, Camilla will be facing a lot of choices, a lot of things that she will have to decide what she needs or what she doesn't need. She will have to make decisions. So uh, this is a things, a things that she will have to face in the next year. So 2023 will be a year of decisions and choices for Queen Camilla, but also the energy of love and energy of giving and uh, good feelings. As you can see by the angel here that is uh, really smiling and giving and not an, not, a, not an obvious angel but once again the two the lovers card is all about choices it's all about looking at the uh, looking at your closet and think in, thinking what are the uh, the clothes that i don't need anymore or looking at your library and thinking what are the books that I need uh, that I can give away. So this is exactly the same, looking at your life's pathway and making decisions on what are the things that are redundant and what are the things that you need. And this is exactly what Queen Camilla will be facing next year. Many, many choices. Okay, it, this comes here. Next card are the obstacles. What are the challenges that uh, Camilla will have to face? And I'm getting judgment. So judgment is a card that looks very much like lovers. Look how similar those key cards look. But judgment is all about change. And this is a very, very profound change. Change that doesn't nullify what happened before, but it is a change that is very, uh, uh, it's a long process, it's a painful process, and it is a necessary process. So when it comes in the, uh, in the, in the challenge place, we need to look at the negative aspects of this card. And the negative aspect of this card is feeling a little bit empty, a fear of change, a feeling impatient, a letting others lead, a feeling that uh, expecting things to happen by themselves or feeling not satisfied. So maybe uh, after the hype of last year becoming queen and maybe after uh, the coronation and becoming, you know, uh, having the coronation and everything, she will have this feeling of emptiness. But uh, I think that uh, the fear of change is the main thing here because the coronation is something that is very big and it is a major change for Camilla and I think that it is a little bit frightening for her although she's been getting ready for it for a long time uh, but uh, up until last year she wasn't even sure that she will be uh, in the coronation because she wasn't even sure that she will become queen consort so uh, it is a change that is not easy to uh, get adjusted to and you need to get adjusted to so it is an adjustment that she will have to uh, to to do okay next card is strength or how to harness her inner power how can she uh, harness her inner power and what i'm getting here is the hierophant wow that's the third major arcana and the hierophant is all about doing the right thing but the hierophant is also king charles himself because he is the uh, uh, the head of the english church and he is the higher uh, 
the higher religious uh, stature in or the highest religious uh, image in uh, Britain. So these are the things that uh, Camilla can harness in order to uh, uh, in, uh, to harness in in. in the strength uh, in order to harness her inner power. So first of all, the help from her husband and the fact that she knows that she's doing the right thing. And the Hierophant is not only speaking about doing what is right. He's also a teacher. He's also someone who is very much interested in teaching others, is executing his inner truth. And we're talking about execute, uh, uh, harnessing the inner, uh, inner power. So this is about executing inner truth. This is acting out of belief. And this is also about being a teacher. Uh, this is about uh, um, speaking the truth. This is about finding out who she really is. And this is about uh, wishing to um, maybe deeply resolving body-mind problems. And I know that Queen Camilla herself is going uh, once a year to a retreat, uh, I think in India, I'm not sure exactly where. So she is very much into body-mind uh, connections and she is doing a work about that. So sh this is part of how she is uh, harnessing her inner uh, power and her inner truth. Okay, let's take these card, cards here. And the next card is the advice card. So the lessons that she learned from last year that can help her in the next year. And what I'm getting here, wow, another uh, major arcana, which is the chariot. Well, this is a highly spiritual, uh, um, this is a highly spiritual reading, amazing. So chariot is all about fighting and getting your dreams realized in the material world. The chariot, chariot card is about not giving up on your dreams. So this is something that she learned from last year, because once again, last year was the year where when uh, Queen Kalink, uh, when, when the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, said that she wanted Camilla to be known as con Queen Concert after she died. So after many years, after being at first not wanted in the royal family, and because of that, Charles didn't marry her at first, and because of that, he married Diana, and because of that, she had, they had a relationship outside of the marriage. And because of that, she had a, a, a divorced her husband. And because of that, she had a, suffered a lot of scrutiny from the British people for a long, long time. And she had to rebuild her image. And she had suffered a lot. So she had to fight for her dreams to come true. And this card is telling her not to give up from the, of, uh, not to give up on her dreams. And this is the lesson that she learned, not only from last year, this is the lesson that she learned from the in, uh, her entire life. This is about acting and this is about not giving up for any price. This is about being very decisive. This is about, a, not being acting uh, towards difficulties, even if you need to to uh, fight for what you believe in, if, if even if it means war, and this is about really organizing uh, your life. This is about a relationship as as well. So this is really about. Um, uh, Chasing after your dreams and not letting and not not giving up. Okay, next card is navigation or uh, the guidance for the next year. And the card that I'm getting here is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is the adventurous queen, 
And the guidance for the next year is calling Queen Camilla to be more adventurous, to take risks, to, uh, not to stay in the comfort zone. The Queen of Cups is a, a, a queen that a, her up, a, her good, uh, let's say, she ha every, every court card has problems, but every court card has good attributes. So the good attributes of the Queen of Cups is that she is willing or able to change in face of stability. She's able to uh, change even though things are, uh, even though she's uh, facing a, a stable uh, thing like the royal family. Uh, she is a able to destroy in order to rebuild. She has no fear. She's able to break conventions. So this is a card of a woman who is able to take risks, who is able to uh, take, to, to go out and make, uh, and go out and uh, go on an adventure. So this is the, the guidance for Queen Camilla for next year to be more adventurous, to be more uh, risk-taking, and to try and to break the conventions, maybe, of the stiff upper lip of the royal family. So this is the guidance. And the last card is the clarity, or Queen Camilla's theme for next year. And the card that I'm getting is another major arcana, which is temperance. And temperance is all about believing, belief. So it's all about faith. And temperance, first of all, is calling Kamen Quil Kamena to be, so it, this is the, the major uh, theme, and I think that Queen Camilla will be facing a lot of havoc next year. We know that uh, the book uh, that Harry is going to uh, come out with is probably going to be uh, not very uh, forgiving towards her and she will be need she will need a lot of faith she will need to uh, to be able to believe that she can turn things around this is about believing that you can turn lead into gold so this is about believing in miracles and this is about really being able to believe that you can do things and to have the, the ability to forgive, to, be, to have the ability to, to be more temperate and not to, be, not, not to be angry, although you are being uh, triggered, you are being provoked, and I'm sure that Harry will try to provoke her, but she, this is the guidance, this is the, the main card that is going to go with Camilla all through next year. She will be the epitome of temperance. And uh, the people will be amazed at how cool she is and how uh, abil uh, her ability to uh, face uh, what Harry is saying about her with, uh, with not only clear face, but also with even forgiving manner. So this is the uh, reading for Camilla, and it is amazing at how many uh, major arcanas we have here. So this is a highly spiritual reading, and it looks like uh, Camilla is going to have an amazing year next year. So uh, all, to, all, uh, all together, it's going to be a, a very spiritual uh, process uh, that she's going to go through. And um, she's going to get into what she deserves. And I see Rosie in the window. She wants to get in. So I'm going to pick up the card and going to let her in. Just one moment. So let's take an oracle card for Camilla from the Crystal Greed Oracle. A 
Okay, so let's clear the deck. And advice for Queen Camilla for next year. Advice for Queen Camilla for next year. And the card that I'm getting is self love. Cobalto calcite. Let's see what it says. So I'm going to read you what is said in the book. This is a time for self-discovery, to learn more about you and to love yourself unconditionally without judgment. There is no need to compare yourself to others. You too have special qualities and it's time to show the world who you are by looking within and loving what you see, you give yourself permission to be you. When you love yourself, you will draw others to you who will love you for who you are. Opening your heart center will also bring great joy to your, great joy to your life. Sometimes just changing the way in which we look at ourselves can change the way others also see us. Our strength and confidence needs to come from within. Only then can we truly shine. So it's a beautiful message for Camilla, and I'm sure she will need a lot of self-love next year with everything that Harry has in store for her. So this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, uh, share my videos. Merry Christmas to you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.